guys and welcome to the second of my Android tutorials. This one's going to be a really quick one, um, basically based on, on making phone calls. Not necessarily how to make a phone call, although I will touch on that very briefly um, for some of the viewers that may not know how to do that. Um, but it is going to be mainly focused on the more advanced features of what you can do during a call. Um, for this particular one, I've had to ditch the Galaxy Tab um, and go with the Samsung Galaxy S to show you on. Um, purely because the tab skinned completely differently to um, to what is normally a, um, a standard format for Android um, on in terms of making calls and stuff like that. So I've I've gone with the Galaxy S, which will be a little bit closer to what you're what you're used to, hopefully. Um, so what we've got here um, is standard home screen, and I'm going to have to come in a little bit closer, which is why I was just knocking the camera around. Um, but yeah, you've um, got. To, standard home screen um, so it's going to literally go into the um, to the phone icon there and dial in a number hit the call button simple as that so very straightforward I don't really need to show you guys how to do that um, on the contacts page find the contact that you want select it once and then it shows you the mobile number it gives you a messaging option or a video call option to call that particular number all you need to do is Tap on the on the call button, and um, and it's it, it, it calls the contact. Now it may be slightly different on on some of the phones. The sometimes you may need to um, press the contact button uh, at the top, and it will bring up options. So you can see there you've got a, a, the the green call button, video call, and messaging option. And some others you may have to hit the bottom the the menu button down at the bottom as well to do features like that. Um, on some other ones as well, you can also just highlight the contact and it'll have an option to call. It doesn't on this one, unfortunately, but just to give you an idea of the different variations. Um, so we'll now go into um, more of the common features of using um, of using the phone when on the call. And so one of the common problems that I find is people when they're trying to call customer services um, and they need to select option one to go to a certain department, option two to go to the etc etc you know what I mean and um, so I'm just going to show you how to do that guys and um, briefly and um, so we're just going to call a number that I know um, and it's now going to ask me to go through to option one option two blah blah blah, blah. Now, on this particular one it's just um, got a dial pad icon so I hit that one and it brings up those options for me um, on other ones again it may be in a slightly different location on the phone the icon will be there um, or you may have to hit the, the, the menu button again and then it will bring up dial pad for you. Select that one and then that gives you that option. Um, and the final one I wanted to show you briefly. Um, if you are on a call and you need to put it onto speakerphone. Again, it will either be using the menu option. This one has a dedicated speaker button. Turn it over and it goes to the loudspeaker. So I'm just going to end the call. Um, and that's the end of that tutorial. A nice quick one. Um, in the next one we'll probably go into the contacts book and how to add contacts, save contacts, remove contacts, that kind of thing. Again, if you've got any questions, pop it in the, the comments box below. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, it really helps me out. Um, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Cheers guys.